In today's video, I'm going to be breaking down Joke vs. Drini Madden Bowl. This is Film Study, and my name's Cody, and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. If you've never been a part of my YouTube channel before, what we do is we basically help you get better at Madden through a variety of different things. This specific series, I'm taking a look at professional players, players that I look up to, players that I learn from, and we're going to be looking at Drini versus Joke. This is the quarterfinals in the Madden Bowl, and these guys are two of the best defensive players in the game you see here these are their abilities but before we jump into the video i want to encourage you if this video is helpful to you teaches you something about madden do me a favor and join our discord server the link is in the description and if that link doesn't work send me a personal text message my numbers in the description you can reach out to me that way and we are going to be um, dropping a free offensive and defensive guide in that discord server once we reach 100 members so we have a little bit of a ways to go but as soon as we hit that 100 i will drop a full free offense and defensive scheme all right so let's jump into this so first and 10 this is Madden Bowl. Now, Drini uh, has kind of a unique unique setup here he's got Gale Sayers Eli Manning and then he's got these two wide receivers out here so he can kind of run a little bit of everything joke coming out in the nickel 335 wide he's gonna spy both safeties and looks like jokes gonna or uh, Drini is gonna start out with a little HB dive Running to the left there. But he's running I-form close. I'm pretty sure the playbook, I, I think he's running Oakland. I think both of these guys are in Oakland. And I'm pretty sure they're both in Miami as well on defense. So, joke here. Nickel 335, wide. Now, this is much salary cap. And looks like Drini's going to be able to hit that route. And I think he's going to get on board really quick here with a one-play score. So good read by him. And that was just that man coverage on Ingram. And that's one of the things that Drini was able to figure out is if I bring tight ends in that have good speed, I'm going to have a little bit of an advantage. And uh, here he's able to go up top. Now, joke on offense is nothing to see. <laughs> nothing to see. But we will we will show a little bit of this because I do want to show – I do want to show Drini's defense and show kind of what he was doing to stop the run. But Joke didn't bring a quarterback. In fact, he played most of his snaps with a punter, and that was a big deal. Um, Joke is one of those guys, this year was the perfect year for him. Here you see there's that man. I think he was just in his zone actually over there, so he was, it left him kind of a busted coverage on that one. But Joke this year was so good for him because, again, he's a defensive player, very defensive-minded player. And his goal is, it, it, really, if you look at Joe's Madden career, he's cons consistently been in situations to win, but has kind of beat himself with his passing game. He's thrown a pick at the wrong time, um, done all those kind of things. And so this is why this year really played to Joe's strengths because it's a run-based year. Uh, running the ball is very effective. And not only that, but it's a defensive base. And so Joke, because he didn't bring a quarterback to the dance, he was able to spend uh, an insane amount of salary cap on his on his defense. So here we go. Coming out wing flex close. Going to run the stretch there and trying to spin back in. I would have liked to see him just kind of try to get four or five. I didn't think that spin was going to happen for him. And they're like I said, they're both in Oakland. Now watch what Drini does to defend this. And this is what we're going to learn a little bit about run defense. And I'm going to talk about it here in this next thing. So they're both running the same run defense. So it's a nickel 335 wide. I have broken this run defense down on my YouTube channel. So you can check that out if you want. But basically what happens is, like the 3-4 odd, these two guys right here are going to come down into the box. So they're going to be a little bit closer. And then on the outside, these linebackers are wide enough, right? And that's kind of the purpose of the wide formation to allow, so he's blitzing all these linebackers off the edge. He's going to kind of hover with his user. These guys are going to both be on spies because, again, Joke's not going to pass the ball. And if I was even him, I would probably blitz these guys. I don't even know if he's going to do that or not, but I would almost run commit every play against Joke, but that's just maybe maybe I'd be wrong to do so. But there you go. There you see. And Gale's able to get out and scamper there a little bit. To me, when you're facing the run, it's not the little the little quick dive straight up the middle against nickel three through five wide that's an issue. It's the dive with the with the weave around and out. So it's the where he'll run he'll run directly up the middle. And here I'll show you. So so here he's coming out goal line and Eli Manning to the right. So he's going to run to the right. And there you see he gets out and he's using that ninety really high speed. This is great user by Drini. Almost gets him. But Joke's able to get in, and so now we're back to dead even. So both players kind of got out uh, early here. 
Uh, but let's see what happens here. We've got I form close. See what Drini's got. So joke, same thing. You see here, same thing. Nickel three three five. Okay, these two linemen. Now uh, he's pinched his line. He's probably crashed them either inside. I think he's probably crashing them outside, but I'm not sure. These guys right here. These linebackers here on the outside, they're going to contain, so they're going to basically push up the field. And then the idea is you've got these two guys spied, so it's going to force him to run out, and then he's going to have to cut back up into the defense, which is these three people right here. But we'll see what we'll see how this plays out. The thing that Joke can't do is he can't run commit because Drini has three or four guys that can really catch the ball. So Drini's, Drini's done a lot from the passing here. And honestly, I think Drini's kind of... Honestly, I think he overthought it a little bit, though. I'd like to see him run the ball a little bit more in this game looking back. Because he's gone to the air, I think, every play. And now he's in third down long. So here, and this is kind of his little go-to play here. This route right here is going to be able to get up against man. And he's got that post-route hitch combination on that left side. I think he might just run it and punt it. And almost gets out there. I would have liked to see a cut to the left side because I think he had him. But he's going to punt. So good D by Joke. All right, back on offense here for Joke. Same thing. So I form close. And let's see here. So you see how Drini shifted? You see how he shifted his line? That's because Joke is strong to the right side. Joke is kind of giving away. A little bit giving away. Because you see here is a receiver and here is a lineman. So he's more than likely going to run this way. Because that's where all of his strengths are. So Drini is just going to make a quick adjustment. Slide that line to the left, probably spy that guy, and then he'll probably... What I'd like to see is him user this guy but in that situation. But here you see the safeties come out, and Genie's able to hold it to a reasonable game. We'll see here. See if Joke keeps telegraphing where he's going to go. Yep, he, so you see he did it again. So he's coming out of wing flex close. He's got Franco Harris here. Franco Harris is a fullback, so more than likely he's going to run to the left, but we'll just see how this plays out. I mean, he he's this is his strongest running set. I mean, this is the best set for him to be able to run on, and uh, we'll see here. He's got that tight end motion across, trying to get that trying to get that block on that safety, but he's not able to get it, and Drini gets a good stop there. And you saw Drini. I think he stayed. I think he stayed base with that line. They didn't. They didn't crash. Watch the line shifts. So see here, he shifted his line to the left. I don't like this shift here because you still got this tight end right here. He could playmaker that run to the right, and we could be in trouble. Let's see what he does here. Nope, he's going strong left. And I think he takes a timeout. He didn't like the look. And to be honest with you, I didn't like that. See there he put, see he moved that tight end. Those are all little cues. Those are little bitty things that you pick up on in film study. And, and sometimes in, in the live game, it's hard to hard to key in on that. But here you see he's got both his linemen there. Now it's definitely probably going to be a left run because that's the wide side. Drini shifts over. Both these guys are going to be in spies. He flips the play. Drini again. And now Joke's trying to catch him. Catch him running left here. Joni's just try, Joke is just trying to uh, catch Drini off balance with these flips. Drini's doing a great job of staying base aligned or man aligned on that. And Gale Sayers, it's good cut by a uh, good cut by Joke to be able to get a couple yards there, and I think Joke's going to end up punting this ball. Let's see what he does here. Got a little bit of load here. Fourth and three. Yep, he's going to go ahead and punt. So, all in all, you know, it seems like seems like very little's going on in the game. Kind of a boring game so far, but it's really actually really strong defense. Um, you see that auto flip is on for joke when you're facing a runner, you want auto flip on. Cause you always want to have, you want, it's basically, you want to make the numbers game in your favor. And there you see, there's good D Drini tries to Drini is trying to run that little dive, but the three, three, five wide, uh, is, is clamping it down right now. He's got the spies there. You see jokes, not shifting jokes, not shifting. So if I'm, if I'm Drini, but because he doesn't have any linemen out there, they can't block those guys. But he's able to throw, so it's just a little bit of a trade-off. Joke has to be a little bit more balanced against the pass. Drini can pretty much sell out against the run. I don't think Joke's going to throw a pass. So, I don't like to see him put this guy on a little hitch here. But we'll see what he does here. Nope. Throws him on a zig. Ooh, bad read. He had, uh, 
he had the uh, X receiver. See, Joke is basically playing man to man against this I form, and he's saying he's saying that you know you're gonna have to I'm gonna force you to beat me up and down the field. And I think Drini, um, looking back at this game, I think that one of the major one of the major challenges um, for a lot of people on offense, and this is for me included, is you tend to look for the bomb, not the short underneath routes. And, and I think the short underneath routes are so critical. So Joke's going to come out and goal line here. This is all linemen. And it's just going to see what Drini's defense can do against the goal line set. And he's just, he's basically clocking him. You know, Joke wants to have as few possessions as possible. And that's good defense from Drini. And again, this is just that nickel 335 wide setup. There's nothing really complicated about it. A lot of it depends on, a lot of it comes down to Drini's not making any mistakes with his defense. Um, Joke is trying to get Drini to make a mistake. Get in a defense that Drini's not going to work, it's not going to work or whatever. And you're seeing Drini's stay in discipline. Here he comes out wide. And Gail Sayers just beats him to the sideline on that one. And I think Joke might be, is he in field goal right now? He's going to go for this one. He's going to go for this. Let's skip ahead here. Let's see what he calls here. So he's got fourth and inches. I think this is um, strong tight. Strong tight. See, and I'd like to see a straight dive from here on this one, but we'll see what he does. Looks like he's going to go to the stretch. He might take it down. He takes another timeout. Didn't like to look. If I'm him, I'm taking three. So he does. He takes three here. I think he was going to try to get a look at it, see what would happen. But he's going to go up top by going up top by 10. Drini comes out now. And now you see these motions with Drini. This eye close. Bring him, drop, bring him Brown around. He's got that one play score. I think he almost had Evan Ingram over the top. And I'm pretty sure that Drini has... Um, Hot route master on Eli Manning. I'm pretty sure he does. Yep, he does. So he can hot route any of these routes out here, which is another big addition to his offense. Um, with Drini being able to do pretty much any route combination he wants to do from I form close, it kind of forces Joke to be in a run defense. But if Joke doesn't... But I, I'm not sure if he's... I'm just not sure if he's using his hot route master to the fullest position. There he just two man under. You see the safeties aren't aren't in a um, – see how the safeties aren't coming down? That's because Joke's not in the run defense from 3 through 5. That's because you watch the safeties, it'll tell you what they're doing. So here you see second and four. Now I bet you he goes to the run defense because he's, he's he's betting that Drini runs. Drini's going to pass here. Up, oh, they back out. And Joke, or Drini had this guy wide open. He just missed him. And Frank Clark made a great play. Frank Clark was a huge addition. If in in this this is this is the game where if you're going to play defense in Madden 20, in my opinion, you have to have a power move specialist in that in that spot right there. See, I want him to hit him, but he wants to hit that. See that right there? He wants to hit that, but see you've got a wide open route over here. So that's that's just a bad um, bad two play combination on Drini's part. Joke's doing a great job of taking away what what Drini's probably going to do. And here you saw Drini's defense. I think he's going to take a timeout. He didn't like how that looked. You'll see this weak flex close formation here. Now he's an eye close. Again, these guys are crashing off the edge. You got this guy here, and the re this guy is going to flip to the strong side. So if strong side was left, he'd be over here. And by strong side, I mean wherever that tight end is in eye form. So we'll see how this rolls here. So there's the motion. You see he follows. You still got guy here. And then it's you're balanced. You're balanced. So good defense there. And, you know, I know this is just running the ball, but you guys don't realize how, I mean, if you've played Madden 20 at all, how hard, especially in Mutt, how hard it is to stop the run. I mean, it is a really big deal that he's able to contain Joke the way he is because these runs are not easy to contain. <laughs> All right, so Joke's going to go to a little power. And Drini does a rip. That is brilliant user right there. He sucks the line in, comes loops around, and that's a really good job. And I think that's going to take us to half. Joke might, uh, yeah, I don't think Joke's going to run a play. Yeah. So he's going half. So Joke gets ball at half. And let's skip ahead here. Talking a little bit about the history. 
All right, so right here. So again, joke, strong left. You see this corner right here? And we'll see what happens here. He's going to, and this is, I don't get why Drini left that right there. If, if, if he moves that lineman over, you, I mean, you have to move your line over. When he, there he goes. Now he's moving them. There you go. And now safety's in the spies. Should come down. Yeah, move them back. Move them back. Move them back. Yep. See, Joke's just trying to catch Genie, or Drini not paying attention here. Motion's right. And there you go. Good D. Now, one of the other cues that Joke had is depending on what quarterback was in the game, that's where he was running. So right, Eli Manning was right-handed, which means he's going to run to the right. Trest Way, his punter, was left-handed, which means he's more than likely going to run to the left. So that's another cue that Joke was given, not just these tight ends. And now he see he's got both tight ends, and I don't think he's even thinking of passing the ball. But we'll see it right here. Here's that motion, strong right, strong right. And Drini knows that I've got to loop around. Good job by Drini. The user, most people are trying to blow up the runs with the user in this year's game. In my opinion, the user is your last line of defense. And that's why um, you see Drini kind of starting like he's going to go in. And then, because it gets the line to kind of pick him up, he's going to start like he's going to go in. Then he's going to loop around and come out the outside here. Now, Joke, if he comes here and tries to do something like that, a cutback, see there? There it is. Great defense right there. Drini's able to shoot the gap and get the punt. So good D by Drini. And this is just a back and forth defensive masterpiece, in my opinion. So it's, so Drini's down by three. And let's see what he does here. See, I like to see here's a run. And you see Jokes doing the same thing that Drini's doing basically on the 3 3 5 wide it, in my opinion it was the best run defense all year long it's funny because zan from uh playbook used formerly from playbook gg and now he's doing his own stuff he actually found that 335 wide defense i think within the first couple weeks of the game being out and so it's funny how tournament players didn't get to it until later on in the year but um you saw it all all tournament long in madden bowl so shout out to zan for doing that because again zan's probably the best my opinion the best guy um, to watch lab defensively. I mean, he's a defensive uh, genius. All right, so here we go. Motion left. Snap the ball. He's got the out route. Turn and gets up that first down. Good job by Drini there. And again, Genie, Drini's running these very simple passing concepts. But because Joke has to come out in a run defense, Joke can't really defend with what he would normally defend with, which would be like a 3-4 bear or a dime 2-3-6 or whatever. So a strong close here, Drini. Showing, it looks like he's going to go to the blast. I, I love this call by Drini if he goes blast here. Because blast against this, and Joke's able to shoot through. Had Joke not been able to shoot shoot through, that was at least a first down, I think. That was a good good shoot by Joke. So these post routes here, you know, I just don't, I don't know what Drini's thinking on that. I want to see that. I want to see John Ross on a hitch or on a corner route. Here we go. There's the flat. He's got the wheel there. We'll see what he does here. He's trying to get, he's trying to, and there's a big pick. Very, very big pick right there from Joke. And Joke at the right time goes to a pass defense out of that nickel 335 with that Tampa 2. And he's able to get the stop. And we'll see what happens here. So Joke, in my opinion, he's got five minutes. He's got five minutes. So if he, I don't think he can run it all down here because of how good Drini's defense has been. As you can see right there, they're just shooting through. And Dro Joke is having some issues moving the ball. But he can, in theory, he can force Drini to have to score a touchdown. If he can get in field goal range, get a field goal, go up by, go up by um, six, in my opinion, puts a lot of pressure on Drini because Drini hasn't moved since the first drive. He's gotten a couple of little reads here and there, but nothing nothing too promising. And there's that spin. Good read by Joke. And see, to me, if I'm Joke, I'm going back to that. And I think he starts to see here. And you see Tress Way's in at quarterback, so he's running left. He's running left. Everybody in the world knows it. 
right? Everybody knows he's running left because he's got Tress Way in at quarterback, and Joke's going to take it to the quarter. Um, let's skip ahead here. So there, Eli Manning came in, so he ran it to the right, third and six, and now I think we've got a punt. Now this is where it's going to be interesting. So Joke is going to punt. I think it's a great move. Drini's going to have to go 99 yards against this. This is a beautiful punt by Joke. And this is lab work. This is why you get in the lab. You test your punters to the hashes. How far do you have to go? All of that stuff. But watch watch here. This is where the momentum of the game. This is where Joke is going to, in my opinion, just put, put the game away within the next couple of minutes here. So this, this to me is a perfect punt, and it just pops in to the uh, end zone. I mean, it was so close. But anyway, Drini, let me see if I can get him here. So now Drini's, Drini's kind of changing strategies. He goes to a pass offense. I want to just briefly under, uh, uh, underline something here. So now Joke, he's going to take these two. This is dime two, three, six. This is his pass defense, right, his base pass defense. So he's running his his heavy pressure D, and Drini, Drini can't. When you're trying to run two different types of offenses, in my opinion, you're just seeing, I think Drini's just a step slow on his pass reads because for most of the tournament he's been able to run, now he's having to really significantly pass because Joke's able to lock up that run. And in my opinion, he's, his reads just aren't, aren't crisp uh, against Joke's defense. And we'll break down another gameplay with with uh, I want to break down the finals of this game with Decroft, someone that had crisp reads, and show how. And I think Decroft is I think Decroft probably is the best passer in Madden 20. Um, he has gotten so much better over the years. But anyway, let's check this out here. So he's on that post, coming across, should be on a corner. We're doing that double post. Frank Clark is just eating. That's what I'm talking about. Power move specialist. I form close, and this is this is one thing people don't understand about I form close. I form close. It takes a, a little bit for the routes to get open, and because they're not open instantly, it's a big big issue. Because I form close, you have to have a second to go. So if you have a power move specialist, they're going to get a couple of those sheds a game, and as you can see there, it pays off for for jokes. So now. Like I said, Drini can't move. I mean, Drini, Drini is in a box right now. He he can't do anything. Uh, he, he's tried his, he, he's he gone to tight slots one time. I would like to see him go to tight slots a little bit more. Um, he's kind of stayed an eye close for most of, the, most of the game. I'd like to see him go to that tight slots just a little bit more. But anyway, here, Joke running. And Drini's, Drini's discipline. He's got his discipline, very disciplined run defense. Not making, not making any mistakes here on the run D, I can tell you that much. And Joke's just trying to – Joke, honestly, he's trying to get out of here. He's try, He has tried so hard. He does not want to give Drini the ball back, but I think he probably will. Anyway, let's see here. So I form – he's trying everything. This bubble screen is a joke. It's not going to – there's no way he's throwing that. It's going right there. Yep. And that's what I'm saying about Joke. Like, it's almost it's almost laughable that that um, he, he ran the bubble screen more for the blocking. Not for the actual uh, bubble screen, obviously. So fourth quarter, you got two minutes. Now Drini's got two timeouts here, and we got a third and eight. If Joke gets a, um, if Joke gets a first down, in my opinion, the game's pretty much over. So Drini has to has to lock him up here. Now if I'm Joke, what I would do is I would run twice, and and try to get that first. Um, if I could get it to like a fourth and three. I I don't know if I would I kind of would want to go for that but he's going to go strong stretch here bringing this motion over and now he's going to change it let's see here so Drini has got to adjust here but he's really strong adjustments he's keeping everything tight here I think he's in wing tight and he almost gets out of there that was so close he almost gets out of there and I think he's going to go ahead and punt it away now right here this is where um, so he has another chance to cough and corner him and you're seeing this in this game so much of it's been about field position but let's see if he can land a good punt right in here if he can get it right in the and he gets it at the 7 so a little bit better than last time so now Joke is changing his adjustments here 
and you see Drini comes out in eye close, so he's going to come out in his eye close D, which is 335 wide. He's got this guy right here. Now Drini's trying to – now watch how long it takes for the routes to get open. This is the key to this defense, or this is the reasoning why I believe this formation um, is not – I would never use this formation if it was me. Now, I understand there's a lot of good reads, a lot of good things that happen from this formation. What I'm simply saying is it takes a little bit for these routes to get open. See? See how long it takes? And his user, and that should have been a pick. That should have been a pick. Drini threw it right to him. And you can see Drini's facial expressions. He's starting to press. He's starting to realize, like, I can't move on offense, <laughs> literally. Literally, I can't move since the first quarter. I don't think he's I don't think he's got past midfield since the first quarter or the very first drive, which was a which was a one play score. Joke has boxed him completely. I mean, complete box right now. So he's got the corner route here. Watch Joke's user. He's gonna go straight to the post. That X is wide open, but you see the power move specialist sheds, and that's the ball game. And everybody knows it. Now, I want to show you this one more time real quick. This is what makes Joke so good. This is what makes Joke... It's not just the power move specialist, okay? It's not just the power move specialist. So, here's here's what's happening. So, Drini, Drini hasn't ran the ball. I don't think he's ran the ball for a hot second. And this guy, he's been running these double posts over and over again, over and over again. Now, what Joke's doing over here is he's trying to kind of slow down this corner to the tight end. So he's going to throw this guy probably in a cloud or some type of curled cloud flat with a basically a Tampa 2 over top. He's taking this safety right here. I think this is essentially like a cover four. So this guy's going deep. This guy's going here. This backside is all man coverage. So now let me show you here at the snap of the ball what's going to happen. He's not worried about the run at all, at all. He doesn't. He has no reason to worry about the run. So snap of the ball. Look, he blitzes four people. I think he's in straight Tampa two. He is. He's in straight Tampa two. This is crazy. So so literally, Joke is in straight Tampa two. Watch what happens. He's got this guy manned up for that inside positioning. It's going to give him just a second to get back there on the user. This corner route is. I mean, it might be open with a low ball, but it's really not. There's nothing here. The only thing Joke's got to do is he's got to recover. So right here, this is where I would leave B, and I, you've got to go to X. But Joke stays on, and there you see he goes, and it's just long enough, and he's able to get the safety. The guy was open. Frank Clark just won Joke this game. But, guys, that will do it for this uh, the, today's episode of Film Study. As you can see here, uh, Joke's just going to run the clock out with the rest of the time. Goes on conservative. Drini might get the ball back. We'll, we'll catch that last possession if he gets the ball back. Let's see what happens here. But I hope you guys are enjoying this series. I hope I was able to fix a couple of the bugs that I have with my Skimba one. I think I'll probably redo that one. Let me know if this video was done well. And also, if you're looking to get better, I've got a ton of tips and tricks at my YouTube channel. And I also would encourage you to join our Discord server. That Discord server is what's going to really help you get a lot better in this year's game, in my opinion. And you'll see here, Joke's going to take it all the way down. And Drini literally is probably going to get, I think, one play. Let's see if he... I mean, I have one second. Um, I don't even think he'll get that, but we'll see. Yep, he's got two seconds here, so we'll watch this last play out. But Drini is... Very frustrated, obviously. And Joke's just going prevent defense here. I think he's in 3-4, which I don't know why he called 3-4 there, but because Gale Sayers almost gets out of there. But uh, anyways, guys, thanks for watching today's video. Be sure to subscribe, but be sure to join that Discord. Once we get 100 people in there, free offense, free defense. We'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.